What's up guys? Today I've got a really special episode. I've got a lot of different colors of neon bait dye. And these bait dyes will dye your live bait a certain color. Now I've got hot pink, I've got orange, blood red, and chartreuse yellow. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be dipping our live bait into each of these colors and seeing which color the fish likes best. Does it, do they like it neon pink? Do they like it orange, red, chartreuse? Or do they just like it naturally colored? We're gonna find out. Comment below. What color do you think is gonna work best? So I'm here in the Florida Keys, in the canals, because we've been trying to fish the bridges all day long, and it was just so windy that we couldn't even get a line in the water. It was so much seaweed, it was hard for it to stay on the bottom, and there was just no fish biting. So we're here in the canals because it's completely blocked from the wind, and I've met a new friend here, his name is Ryan, and uh, we're just hanging out, doing some fishing. I'm learning a little bit of Spanish from him. And uh, we've got a really interesting experiment today. We're gonna be testing out all these different colors. We're turning these shrimps into neon colored shrimps. And we're gonna see if fish prefer it neon or natural. Okay, first thing I usually like to do when I get to a new spot is I like to check the, the depth, the water temperature, and just to see if there's any structure down there. And I use my deeper fish finder here. This is a awesome piece of sonar technology that will tell me what is under the water how deep it is, what the water temperature is, and it'll give me a cool picture of what it looks like under there. And I'm gonna use my deeper app right here. It's on my phone. I'm connected to my deeper now, and I'm just gonna cast it out here and check how deep it is. It says instantly. Okay, so I'm at six feet right here, and the bottom is looking kind of soft. There might be fish holding on the bottom right here. I've got a trooper. I don't see any goliath groupers, but I'm going to bring it in slowly and just kind of see how, if it gets any deeper in the middle. Still six feet. Looks like it's, it could be six feet throughout here. Because the Jewfish goliath grouper loves to hide in, in deeper, deep little holes. So I'll have to find a deep hole for, for to find a goliath grouper, huh? See? Okay, so this is 5.5 feet. It gets shallower here. I think there might be a deep hole over there. I'm going to check by this boat over here. Okay, so now I'm by that boat. It's still six feet. <laughs> 6.8, it looks a little bit deeper over there. 6.9, seven feet. Yeah, seven feet right there. Okay, so I'm gonna try and fish that seven foot hole right around here. Okay, so right here, it looks like it's four feet. That goes to seven feet. That means in between, I think there's gonna be some fish. Now I love using this deeper because it just gives me extra intelligence when I'm fishing at a new spot. A lot of times fish like to hide in a deeper hole. So when you find structure or a deeper hole, that's when you know that even if you don't mark a fish there, you can fish around there and there might be a big fish around there. Goliath groupers and bigger fish like to hide in the deeper holes. So this thing really helps me find that. Okay, first up I'm gonna tie on just a small little rig called a Sure Catch Mini. And we tie these up and have them on our store, but we like to use live shrimp just on a little sinker or actually nothing at all. So I'm gonna tie one of these onto my line and that's what we're gonna fish with today. These are our live shrimp. We've got some really big ones. Wow, that's good enough to eat. Maybe I don't even use this. I'll eat this one. <laughs> it's, too good to, it's too good for bait, right? Mm. See, and then we've got small ones like this. I think we're gonna use these don't smaller waste, ones. Don't waste the big shrimp. <laughs> don't waste the big shrimp. We're gonna use the small shrimps instead of the big shrimps. Just like that, okay? We're dipping these shrimps in like these neon colors. So maybe they're more, they'll bite more. Which color should we do first? Okay, Ryan, can you pick a color? Pink, red, yellow, or orange? Yellow. Yellow, okay. We're gonna do yellow first. So we're gonna dip this live shrimp. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like whoa. It. Wow, it turned colors real quick. Doesn't like it. It doesn't like it, wow. Do you see that fish right there? They're looking 
looking at it. Doesn't seem like they want the yellow. They didn't seem to like it. Is it still yellow? Yeah, it's still yellow. You see that? I'm gonna throw it, it out. Soaks in. It soaks in the, uh, it's, uh, it soaks in the, the bait. Yeah, it did some. Something got it. Something ate it? Yeah. Where's sponge? Regular shrimp. Now I was just gonna wait for my line to move. Oh, I got a fish, guys. Oh, that's a good mangrove right there. Is that a keeper? That's a mangrove, yeah. Wow. It's a good one. And it is 10 inches. Yep, 10 inches. Keeper. So when we hook a shrimp, we hook it right above the brain right here so it doesn't kill it. I'm gonna give yellow another try. This time I'm gonna dip just the tail because I don't think putting its head in there worked out very well. Oh, it just splashed me everywhere. <laughs> no. Oh, garlic fingers. Garlic fingers. Look at that. Mm. So when my line straightens out, that's how I know there's a fish on my line. on the yellow one, but it took a second for it to even want to eat it. It took a while. It seems like they like the, the natural color more. See? This one I'm just gonna dip just the tail, okay? Oh! <laughs> you know my face? You like that. It's like, oh no, dear. Honey, let me see. Let me see. I need to get it off. See? You approve of pink? I'm just gonna dip the tail like that. Wow, look at that color. Okay. Maybe red. Let's try red this time. They didn't want pink. Whoa, look at that red. Looks like blood. Yeah, that's the biggest mango snap I've ever caught. 
It seems like so far they're preferring the regular shrimp. Ryan and I both agree, they don't like the GMO BS. They like it all natural. And I feel like I would like it the same way too. What do you guys think? Do you think it's because it has a weird scent, they're not used to it, they're not used to the color? I thought it would make it, you know, a little more flashy and a little more attractive, but it doesn't seem like it. I have caught fish on both so far, but it seems like the natural colored ones get bitten a little bit faster. Okay, what color is next? Well, what have we not tried? Have we tried orange? We've tried pink, we've tried yellow, we haven't tried orange. Okay, let's try another one. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. Okay, Ryan, the big ones we're saving to eat, right? We're only using the smaller ones. Okay, wow. Okay, that's orange. You it see that? It doesn't seem to make much, too much. It's not as pigmented, this one. Yeah, it's not as pigmented. It is not scented, this one. Maybe this will work better. It looks like a nice color. Oh, we got fish following this one. We've got a lot of little fish following this one. Oh, you can see? Yeah, I can see them. But they didn't commit. It seems like they're curious about this color, but they're not committing to it. They're like, what is this weird shrimp? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> like I've what? never it, seen anything like that. It smells weird, it looks weird. I don't know about it, this. It. <laughs> it's investigating, but it doesn't want to eat it. I was in a coma for eight months. Wow, eight months? My mom said, I can hear everything. My you reaction, were in a coma for eight months? I was in a coma for eight months. So what, what happened to you, Ron? I was skateboarding across A1A. Uh-huh. Super Duty Dodge Plumbing Truck ran me over. An ice cream truck? Super Duty Dodge Plumbing Truck. Plumbing. Pl plumbing truck. Ran me over and broke femur, both arms, and disabled my head. Jeez. And then, and then you were in a coma for eight months. I was in a coma for eight months. My mom said I could hear everything. Do you my, remember being in a coma? I, I, I recall hearing. You recall hearing things? See. Was it all black or were you seeing things? Were you dreaming? Do you, what do you remember from it? My mom says, my body reactions, I recall. Wow. Well, we're glad you're here. We're glad Thank you're you. here. We're glad, glad you're alive. glad to meet you. And it's a miracle that you're alive. Thank you. You're here for a reason. Amen. What? Ooh. What was that? <laughs> There's a barracuda chasing these little fishies. Maybe we'll try some ballyhoo. Ballyhoo? Yeah. Because it looks like the shrimp is touching the bottom and catching all these like weeds and stuff. Mm. And when that happens, the fish don't want to see that. They know it's fake as soon as they see all the weeds all over it. So you have to keep it off the bottom. Oh, I missed one. It bit it. Ooh. Oh, it got off. The shrimp is still there. There's some huge fish right here. They just don't even want to touch it. They're like really sketched out. Maybe try a piece of shrimp instead of an entire live one. If they don't want a live shrimp, they're not going to want dead one. But I'll try it. Maybe I'll try some cut ballyhoo too. Hmm. That was cut bait. But this is a small one. It is much smaller. A lot smaller. So I tried one of each of these colors. And honestly, I caught one or two on the different colors. But it seems like they don't really like it. It seems like they're very suspicious. They'll look at it. They're interested in it. It gets their attention. But when they go up to it, they smell it. They, sometimes they turn around. So I think that these dyes, they don't like them. And the reason is... No BS. No BS. They don't like the GMO that's added into all the different the different dyes. Natural like I do. I like natural. Yeah, we like them natural. That's why I think the fish, they like them natural too. It's a surprise to me because I thought that they would... Well, on the surf, when I go surf fishing, like we have different colored uh, salty shrimps. They love it on the surf. But here, in this setting, I think these mangrove snappers are a lot smarter than we think, and they're finicky. They don't want to just eat anything. They know that they want natural, all-organic, grass-fed shrimps. <laughs> now, I'm going to keep trying to catch more fish, except I'm going to be using live shrimp. Just, just the shrimp without colors. Without the BS. Just like that.
They're already pretty red shrimp as it is. See? Wait for the hole. <laughs> one you see this on the this is on the sure catch rig right here because you're sure to catch a lot of fish that's a nice size one let's give it a measure 12 inch wow holy cow Very that's good cool. Cross A1A. Look at that, Ryan. I think this is a little too small, though. What do you think? They have to be 10 inches. Do you think this is 10 inches? No. I don't think so either. I don't want to get in no trouble. Being. No be in. Okay. How do you say release? No say. No say? <laughs> Tambien. bien. No say. <laughs> Adios. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Them, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well the fish have stopped biting, but I am fortunate to have caught some pretty nice sized snappers. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. There we go. These are good sized snappers here, y'all. Beautiful. Gonna be delicious to eat. Delicioso. Delicioso. So what did you learn today? I think we both learned See? that the fish they don't want any of the BS GMOs. They just want it all natural. At least these fish in particular. Because I've, I've dyed my, my bait before and I catch a lot of fish on the surf. But here, seems like they want it all natural. Wow, that was an amazing day of fishing. It started out with me personally trying to fish on the bridges and not having any luck. It was just so windy. And then I thought, hey, I've done this so many times. I've encountered experiences where it's too windy to fish, but all you have to do is find a place that's blocked by the wind. And I took a look on my Google Maps and I found this spot right here. And it happened to be a lot of fish here. This is the kind of fish I was looking for on the bridge, but these are huge sized ones. So I encourage you, if it's too windy of a day, do not give up. Just look for a place that's blocked by the wind. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to help support us, check out our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I have a ton of these fishing rigs, a ton of fishing bait, and all sorts of things just to get you right on fish. That's my job here. I want to help you guys learn how to catch fish and do it yourself. If you want to hear about any of our new products or any of our new updates, we do a lot of giveaways. Text me, my phone number is down here. Text me your number and I will send you all sorts of stuff about fishing, about new products, about free giveaways. And my number is in, is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. <laughs>